Have you ever felt no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to connect with people? Maybe you noticed that some folks seem to back away or avoid you, leaving you puzzled and wondering what's going on. Well, fear not. You're not alone and there might be a simple explanation. Your aura. Now I know what you're thinking. Aura, isn't that some mystical stuff? Well, not exactly. Think of your aura as the energy you give off. It's about the subtle cues and signals your body language, tone of voice, and overall demeanor send out to those around you. Others can sense and often respond to our auras, and sometimes without realizing it, it can unintentionally repel others. Think this might be the case with you? Don't worry. Let's explore some common signs that people are repulsed by your aura and what you can do about it. Avoiding eye contact. They say the eyes are the window to the soul, but others just don't seem to want to look into yours. Ever noticed that? It's not because you have something in your teeth, although it's always good to check. Rather, avoiding eye contact can be a sign that people are picking up on a discomfort or unease in your aura. This could be for a number of reasons, like if you're nervous, lack confidence, or are weighed down by negative thoughts. By addressing the root causes of your uneasiness, you can begin to create a more positive and inviting aura that encourages meaningful connections with others. But it's important to note that when some people avoid making eye contact, it could mean different things. They may be neurodivergent or dealing with social anxiety, among other factors. But the general idea is, if a bunch of people are doing this, it's worth looking into why it might be happening. Uncomfortable body language. Pay attention to how people react to your presence. Do they cross their arms, lean away, or create physical barriers between you and them? These subtle body language cues can indicate that they're feeling uncomfortable or repelled by your aura. It could be a result of tension or negative energy you're unknowingly projecting. Here's a simple tip. Pay attention to your body language and how you're coming across to others. Are you open and approachable or closed off and distant? A genuine smile and positive body language can go a long way in making others feel comfortable around you. Limited social invitations. Ever been in a situation where it feels like you're the odd one out? Watching from the sidelines while everyone else is in on the joke or sharing stories? Do people often exclude you from their plans or social gatherings? Feeling left out can be tough, but understanding why it's happening can make all the difference. Your aura might not be resonating with others, which makes them hesitant to get close to you and include you more. Quick exits or excuses. Do you notice that people make excuses to leave when you join a conversation or approach them? This could be a sign that your aura is making them uncomfortable. Pay attention to cues like sudden phone calls, urgent errands, or abrupt farewells. They might be trying to politely distance themselves from your energy. Next time this happens, try asking open-ended questions and actively listening to show you're genuinely interested and make your aura seem more inviting towards them. Feeling drained around others. Ever notice that you feel emotionally or physically drained after spending time with certain people? Your aura plays a significant role in these interactions. If your energy is misaligned or incompatible with others, it can lead to feelings of exhaustion or discomfort. Pay attention to how you feel around individuals to gauge the compatibility of your auras. Sometimes it's not about you being the issue, it's just a matter of incompatibility. So don't be too hard on yourself for that. Receiving negative feedback. Next, if you consistently receive negative feedback or constructive criticism from others, it could be a reflection of how your aura is perceived. People might be hesitant to offer praise or support if they sense negativity or hostility emanating from you. This is because we tend to mirror and reciprocate the energy we receive. So take a step back and reflect on how you're presenting yourself to the world. Are you projecting openness and kindness, or are you unintentionally closing yourself off? Lack of meaningful connections. Answer this question honestly. How many real friends do you think you have? You know, people that you meaningfully and deeply connect with, who you can trust and open up to. None? 
Having a repulsive aura could be a barrier to you forming strong connections with those around you, leaving you feeling isolated and alone. This might stem from past experiences, insecurities, or unresolved emotional issues that are reflected in your energy field. But by cultivating a positive and open aura, you'll naturally attract more meaningful connections and create a space where others feel comfortable opening up to you. Small acts of kindness can go a long way in improving your aura and building genuine connections. Remember, improving your aura isn't about changing who you are. It's about becoming more aware of how you come across to others and making small adjustments to create better connections. So go ahead, give these tips a try and watch as your aura transforms into a magnet for positive relationships. So how do you plan to make your aura more positive? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found these tips helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe for more enlightening content. Click here to watch 7 things that attract others subconsciously to you and 4 signs people are attracted to your aura. Next, thanks for watching.